Next up, Jesse is in Malvern to take a tour of this striking Edwardian home. He's meeting with Nicole of Empire Interiors, interior designer and mastermind behind this special home. Nicole, do you have the best job in the world? You get to work on beautiful properties like this every day. I do. Welcome to Montrose, Jesse. This beautiful Edwardian home in the middle of gorgeous Malvern. Uh, it's sort of circa 1912. And how lucky to breathe new life into this gorgeous homestead. Well, it must be a dream, not just for you, but also for your clients that you work for. Uh, probably the most picture-perfect facade I've seen of a home in a while. Yeah, so you're right, it's a picture book for facade and our clients really were inspired by Modern Farmhouse. Took the idea from the original Edwardian home and we've carried that through with the interiors. As you'll see, it's a little bit different than what most people do, which is chop the back off one of these beautiful homes and build a big modern box. We've sort of done a neoclassical addition, uh, which is carried through through the kitchen and bathroom. Come and have a look. <laughs> Let's go. Now I understand what you were talking about at the front when you said you didn't want to just add a box on the back. This extension feels like it's been here since when the house was built. It's incredible. Yeah, thanks Jesse. That's an amazing compliment. That was really the design intent from the beginning with the client. We really wanted to take inspiration from that classic Edwardian front and bring that through the interiors. You've done such a good job blending the old with the new. It's difficult for me to tell where the old house actually stopped and where the extension has started. Excellent, that was the plan. <laughs> the idea was that you would walk from the start of the home, the original Edwardian home, down that hallway through all the bedrooms which are original. They've got the ceiling roses and the cornicing and all of the stuff that was original to the home, which we sort of redid but kept to how it was. And then you walk through to the new section which is this new kitchen dining living addition and there's also a first floor addition but there's no real direct space where you walk through and you say this is the new bit, which is what we normally do. We normally mm. deliberately do that and that was something that we were thoughtful in achieving in this house. That was a little bit different. Now, what orientation are we facing here, Nicole? So the house faces north, so we've got south at the back, obviously, with these steel doors. So we really had to maximise light in this space by using some really smart light wells in the kitchen and behind us near the fireplace as well. Well, they work so well because it doesn't feel dark in here at all. If anything, it's quite a nice little mood lighting rather than the entire place being lit. Yeah, and that's the idea, that the whole house has these little design moments within them. So it's using... Uh, neoclassic materials and it's also using architectural elements like v-groove and glass um, as to bring the whole thing together. Well I notice a bit of the v-groove there like in the study nook and then as you start to look outside you can see that that continuity out there as well. Exactly if you look at the facade which is horizontal we took that idea and wanted to modernize it a bit so with the Hardy's axon at the back we used it in a vertical context so it was about having it to be traditional, but also having it be neoclassical as well. Why didn't you use brick for the extension? Look, there's a number of reasons we didn't go with brick. It was look and feel primarily, but it was also ease of use, speed of use, availability, and just the scale of the sheets. You know, it's a huge extension at the back. So to be able to have those big sheets of that gorgeous vertical cladding was really important to us from the get-go. Well, I've recently just used it as well on my extension, and I know that it's just so quick to install for the builders, so I saved a lot of cost there as well. You really do. I mean, with trades and labour and all of that at the moment especially, it's so nice to know you can have a product that you can order, have delivered, and be installed in a couple of days. Plus, it's cement sheet, like it's a fibre cement sheet product, so it's going to be durable to weather or heat. It's going to 
age the same way as a brick does, but I think it really gives a really beautiful effect. I think the aesthetic for me as a designer really sold it, but I have to also think about the build aspect and the longevity of the building itself. So even from a sustainability perspective, using a material that we know will stand the test of time and stand weather, as you mentioned, was really important to us. Now, I'm a huge fan of the bag brick render on the fireplace. It could be one of my favourite features for the home. Yeah, look, we wanted to add in that sort of farm, country, relaxed vibe. And I think having the contrast of a little bit of brick there bagged is a really nice addition to the rattan on some of the joinery um, and that Carrara marble, as well as the oak flooring. It's a combination of materials, I think, that really sets this home apart. And it's a beautiful size family kitchen. Yeah, I mean, it's rare to get a house like this in general. An Edwardian of this scale, in the condition that it was in, with clients who are willing to put in the time and effort to really bring it back to life. So that in itself was such an honour. To then be able to do this modern addition, we wanted to make sure it had a kitchen that was suitable for a house of this scale. So it's a big house, it's a beautiful big kitchen. Wow, Nicole, this home really is pretty as a picture. And I see what you mean about the horizontal and then the vertical lines there. Yeah, this is sort of that transition space. This rear addition is on the outside, you can sort of see where it goes from old to new. The gorgeous vertical cladding and the steel windows and then that outdoor fireplace. What a combo. You it's... just want to sit out here all day. Did you choose the limestone first or the colour of the axon cladding because they match perfectly? What a great question. Well, we were fixed in colour with the limestone. We could pick any colour for the axon cladding, so we could complement the limestone perfectly, which is what we've done. Well, you've done an incredible job, Nicole, blending the old with the new. This could be one of the most beautiful looking homes I've ever seen through, and I can't wait to see what you do next. Thanks, Jess, and thanks for coming by. <laughs>